What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I got a few fragrances in that I purchased from Fragrance Buy and one of them being the new Club de Nuit Intense Flanker, Club de Nuit uh, Oud, I believe it's called specifically. I forgot the exact name, but it's Club de Nuit Oud. Supposedly kind of like Herbapura plus this Oud note. I don't have a lot of experience with Herbapura. I have several fragrances that are supposedly like it. So I don't know. I'm just going to judge it as a standalone and see if it's any good. Comes in this big silky blanket like bag we'll check it out see if it was a complete waste of money or a good new addition because most of the time they do pretty good but not everything can be a winner so let's find out stay tuned So I have never looked at the notes. I just, it's a new clubbed into wee flanker. So I was like, screw it. I'm just, I'll get it at some point. And it came in stock. So I was buying some fragrances. They had it in stock. And here we are. The box has a wood look to it. Clubbed into wee oud. Parfum, a collector's pride. Well, one thing I won't be collecting is the box. But I got to say, it's their nicest to date. Nicer than the limited edition parfum. Whoop. Bunch of stuff fell out. Let's see what this bunch of stuff is. So we have a cleaning cloth. Arm off. We have information with the little card. Their Creed ripoff that they do. A little card. <laughs> so, oh, I gotta say, this is nicer than the limited edition parfum. This pearlescent look to it. That is nice, I gotta say. Kudos to them. Felt on the bottom so it won't slide on a dress or anything like that. This is pretty nice. Might be a shame to throw this away. This is actually really nice. Okay. So, some foil on there. This is kind of like a more translucent version of the... Um, Club de Nuit, the Baccarat clone. Why am I drawing a blank here? I'm visualizing the bottle. I, I'm drawing a blank. I don't know why, but it has kind of that titanium gradients to it in the side, but you can see straight through the cap. It's kind of like this, uh, I don't want to say granite, but some kind of rock of some, some sort. Not too bad. It's different, I got to say. I'm off on top of the atomizer. Did we get it to focus? Close enough. It says I'm off. There you go. But decent look to the bottle. You know, I mean, they're standard stuff as far as the shape. But let's. Uh, the atomizer got bigger. That's a bigger atomizer than it was. Wow. Holy. It turns the whole time, but look at this. It's putting out. That does kind of remind me of uh, Herbal Aquatica from Montal that I have. So I get I get the base DNA idea to Herbapora then. Because I do get this fruity, and I, it, I smelled this part of it that I described in Montal's version. Almost shampoo-like smell. No, that sounds kind of weird. Dry woody facet, a little powdery, sweet, smells really good. Nothing about this smells like oud to me, maybe as it dries or whatever type of oud oil it is. There's no funk whatsoever. No medicinal smell. Fruity smell though, very fruity. It's a very easy going, pleasant fragrance. This is one of the better ones they've put out in a while. This does remind me very much of Herbal Aquatica, where that's a little bit different. That's much more minty than this, but they are similar. This smells great. It does. I got to give it to them. It smells great. They just keep putting out bangers in this line. What can I say? Now, Urban Man Elixir, eh. Just eh. That was okay. Wasn't special to me, but Iconic was a really good version of Blue de Chanel. Untold. That's the name of the one I couldn't think of. That's a really good, like, more cotton candy-esque 
type um, Baccarat Rouge 540 is really good. All the intense flankers I like. I have all but the EDP. Siage is good. Milestone's good. And so on. I mean, I don't have all the Club de Nuis, but I have a vast majority, and they're all pretty good. This is an addictive smell, though. This is super easy going. Easy to like, too, man. Very fruity. Very fruity, fresh, a little minty. And there's this dry, woody tone to it, but nothing I would sit here and say is oud. Let's pull up the notes. A few minutes later. So, according to Parfumo, it's only got two ratings so far, 7.8 out of 10. Top notes of bergamot, passion fruit, peach, pear, pineapple, and plum. Explains why it's extremely fruity and fresh. Heart notes of cashmere wood. There's that soft wood. Freesia, jasmine, violet leaf. A bit of an aquatic feel. Okay. Cambodian oud. Really? So it's more of a sweet oud then. I, th I believe Cambodian oud comes across a bit more sweet from what I recall of other fragrances with it. Crystal amber. Cipriol. Doesn't come across earthy to me. Musk, sandalwood, and vanilla. Similar. Herbapura. Very fruity, but not super sweet. That's a plus. It's more fruity fresh than it is fruity sweet. It's not crazy sweet. It's very fresh. A little bit more metallic than watery. Like this violet leaf note being here makes sense. Because it could be the passion fruit and the pineapple and the citrus adding that watery feel to it. And maybe I just get a little bit of a metallic tone from violet leaf. Because I don't just think it's, you know, because it's not super aquatic or anything like that. But there's a little bit of a tone. It's watery. But I wouldn't call it like a, a very aquatic fragrance, but very juicy would be a good way to put it. It's juicy fruit without being sweet. Very fresh. A little dry and woodsy. Touch of creamy. More musk than creamy woods, really, because it's a dry wood smell more than a creamy wood smell. But there's a little bit of creaminess here. It's nice. I need to try Herbapura, man. Everything I've smelled that people say smells like Herbapura, I always end up liking. So I need to try the damn original everybody's copying because they're apparently copying that. It's a good release. I think it's a good release. If I'm putting a number on this one, first impressions rating, it smells great. It makes me want to keep going back to it. I think it's easily an 8 out of 10. Great. 8 out of 10. It's not mind-blowingly good. I do think... Uh, Herbal Aquatica from Montal that I got before this. I do like more. I like the addition of that hefty mint note at the top. That does elevate this a bit more. The quality is a little bit better than this as well. So, of course, I like the Montal take a little more, but not a whole lot more. Like, I want to wear this. I definitely want to wear this because I wore Montal Herbal Aquatica last week. I'm going to wear this this week. In fact, I think the day this video goes out, this is going to be my scent of the day because I haven't... Normally, I line stuff up to kind of get ready, but... We got Sunday, we got Monday, I don't have nothing else lined up for the week. This is going to come out on Tuesday, I'll wear this in my scent of the day on Tuesday. Not too shabby. 8 out of 10, great. Well, I keep sniffing it, I, that's a good sign, right? <laughs> Means I like it. Until next time, do me a real quick favor, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. I'm not sure if it's still in stock currently, but I know they'll constantly get a stock of it. I'll have it linked below from where I got it at Fragrance Buy, if you want to check it out. Paid around 60 bucks for it, I believe, so it's still on the higher end price. It's in the realm of what the limited edition parfum costs, kind of in that range, which <laughs> I love. That's still my favorite all moth fragrance. Um, it's got a shot at being a close second or third. I don't know if I would dethrone Siage as the number two, but maybe this has potential. I like it. I like it. And until next time, I will say if you happen to get your hands on Club Dinuit Oud from Armoff and you give it a spray now, there's a real chance you might thank me later. How we going, guys?